Picture Review. I haven't done one of those in a while because of, well, Percy Jackson Month. Stop it! Where, it this is not for Percy Jackson Month. This is for the character review. So we're gonna, this is our second to last character review for Magnus Chase. And we're gonna be talking about Hearthstone. And I gotta say, he's probably the most original character I have seen in a book ever. opinion because you don't see many characters who can't speak, who are mute, in books because a lot of what happens in books is driven by dialogue or what they see. So having Hearthstone who can't see and can't hear, that's really interesting and really cool. And also props to Rick Riordan for managing to write that because I have I like to write, okay? And I have a story that, well, a, a story idea. And I have an idea that I'm trying to write down, but my idea is centered around this guy who is blind and he only has two of his five senses. That's really, really, really hard to write. Like, seriously, the whole book is based off a of sound. It's insanely hard to write, so props to Rick Riordan for being able to do that. I love, I love his backstory so much, it's like so sad and would make sense that he would want to do magic. It, it's, it's incredibly sad. Incredibly sad and, okay, I know that at the end it's like found out that he, they were assigned to him, but it's like with Percy and Grover, you know, Grover was assigned to the school to find demigods, but he like did still like become Percy's best friend. Of course, like, they, they all, three of them are best friends. And Hearthstone, like, we don't get much of his point of view, like I said, what we do learn a lot about is past other people, and also about, like, how he communicates in his different, like, signals and feelings and such. I'm just, like, imagining how fast he's probably going to be signing when and if they meet all the Greeks. Probably a couple Norse swear words, or would they be elfish swear words? Can you really say Norse swear words, or would they be like elf swear words? Do dwarfs have their own swear words? Nine realms makes your head hurt, thinking about that. So we're just, he's just gonna be going like insanely fast probably, and then Annabeth will be like, is he okay? Or something along those lines, but she probably would already know. Percy would actually be the one going, is he okay? <laughs> and then, it, uh, I want to see that now. I really want to see that now, but like, I really like Hearthstone. Like I said, I want to get to know these characters more. With When it came to Blitzen, Sam, and Magnus, I want to get them to know them more. Since this book was kind of more introducing the world of Magnus Chase and that side of this entire world of Percy Jackson. The entire world of Percy Jackson, the Norris side is being introduced in Magnus Chase. So, you know, we gotta be ca caught up and filled in on each side of everything. And, like, you did learn some stuff about the elfish traditions, I guess you could call them, when it came to his backstory. And his backstory is, like, so sad. I think they said that he had, like, a brother, and then... Why do they all have to have sad backstories? Magnus died, and so did his mom. And then Sam is the daughter of Loki, and is always looked down on for that, but at least Sam has, like, a relatively good life, so she better not die. So if she dies, she better not. Better not. And Blitzstone? Oh, regret her, please make it canon. Not that canon. Get it out of here. Thank you. Okay. You know what I mean. I want them to get together. Maybe they will. Because I think, well, they'd have to be called on. and Maybe it'll be like Coach Hedge, just like randomly you find out. <laughs> maybe it'll be something like that, right? Right? Yeah. 
I can see that happening because, you know, Magnus is on Valhalla and I don't think they're going to be able to go back and forth if Nico shows up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I would, that, that's just hilarious. Oh, that's funny. Okay, but back to, back to this in general. This Hearthstone, I love him, love him, love him, love him. He's probably my favorite character so far in this series. I love all the characters, but so far, he's probably my favorite so far. Then again, I still want to learn more about him. I still want to keep reading, maybe even get his point of view at one point. And you, I don't know. I don't know what's in store for all of these characters. We're going to continue to learn more about them. And like I said, it's the first book. Hard to judge these characters when they're when it's more focused on introducing and get the Norse side of the world and getting ever, and getting you used to that nine realms thing that just gives you a headache. Now I'm gonna go take care of my headache because trying to figure out that whole Norris language idea just gave me one. So that is Hearthstone. Well, I almost dropped the book. That is Hearthstone for you. Please, I want Blitzstone to exist. And next time we will be reviewing, well, Magnus's floor mates. And I'm going to rant about X, so be ready. I'm not going to get no spoilers here, but I'm going to rant about X, so there will be spoilers there. So that's all for today. Remember, Percy Jackson Month is still going on. We're going to wrap up Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard by talking about Magnus's many, many floor mates. So, thanks for watching. Bye!